Hi, I'm Ricky Skaggs. A couple of months ago, a dear friend of mine, pastor here in town, uh, Scott McLeod, told me about a dream that he had. And he also told me about a vision that his son had had and how they kind of went together. The son, had, Daniel, had seen uh, a vision of a river in Nashville that was polluted. And uh, it was running down Broadway of Nashville. It, then he also saw that the city was like a ghost town. He had no idea about COVID and what was coming to Nashville where there, we've seen drone pictures of where there was not a soul on the streets in Nashville. Uh, Scott's dream was about a pure river that God wanted to bring in Nashville, uh, a pure river of life. That river would be in the, the Ryman Auditorium, uh, really Union Gospel Tabernacle here in Nashville that we all love and all know as the Ryman. Um, we've always known that there, for years, that there's been a, a, a deeper, higher calling on the Ryman than just uh, a music venue. Uh, when God's Spirit uh, is permeated in brick and mortar uh, as a church, uh, just because you change the name doesn't mean we've changed the purpose of the, of the building. And uh, so we're going to have a 24-hour, probably out of two days, be two 12-hour days, but a 24-hour praise and worship, music, uh, prayer, intercession in Nashville for not just our city, but for our nation and for the nations of the world. Because our world needs Jesus now more than ever. And there's not one nation that doesn't need him. There's a hole in our hearts and in our, in our soul. And it, the only thing that fits that hole is the presence of Jesus. If we know Jesus, we have the peace within. And his peace passes all understanding. So I want to invite you as musicians and as singers to catch this vision of Pure River that, uh, that we're going to have at the Ryman here in Nashville and to be part of it. Uh, I know from my heart, I want to sing the old blood songs and the old hymns, songs that uh, touched men's hearts and changed people's lives uh, 200 years ago, 300 years ago. Uh, the songs about the cross, those songs are just as relevant today as they were when they were written all those years ago. The old revival songs, songs that, that take us back because this is about roots. God wants to do something in the roots, the root system here in Nashville. We'll be sending you some information, but thanks so much for considering this because I want you to, uh, to know that you know, your gift, your, your music gift, has not just been for you to make a living and have a big name, but it's to, uh, to lay it down at Jesus' feet and let Him use you at a time when we need Jesus to fight the battle uh, for us, uh, as Jehoshaphat did uh, in the old, the old Testament days, you know he sent the musicians out first. Judah goes first, and uh, so that means praise. So we praise the Lord, we do His business, and we trust Him to do the fighting and do the battle for us. There's, we're in a war, we're in a mighty conflict, but the Lord. He is the host of the armies of heaven, and He has never lost a battle, and He's not about to lose this one. God bless you.